Hey there, fellow underdog entrepreneurs. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to explain why I'm saying via con Dios, muchacho. Saying goodbye. To all my statuses as the main method of sorting my work in ClickUp. Now it's a work in progress, but I hopefully by the end of this video, I want to share some tips and tricks that you can swipe to help you master task management, which is a pain in the butt sometimes. Like most entrepreneurs, managing all the stuff that we have to do, the tasks, the projects, commitments, that can be a super daunting task. One of the things I've been working on the last few months is simplifying my ClickUp. Now, it really sucks when you choose a tool to try to make life easier and it ends up being a bear to deal with. You're like, Arr. if you want to see the big mistake that I made when I first set up ClickUp, check out this video right here. Now let's get clicky with it. I want to show you what I'm doing to fix one of the big, big problems that I had and still maintain. I'll show you today. One of the issues that resulted from my initial setup was I have too many statuses. They got out of control real fast. They seem to multiply like rabbits. You'll see what I'm talking about, like my ideas in this in my last video. Uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. Right here is my ClickUp. And these are all of the statuses that I have active inside of ClickUp. Royal pain in the butt to try to manage. So if I'm inside of one list or inside of one folder, I have different statuses and it's hard for my brain to keep track of things. So the first thing that I did was define what is a status, what is a stage and what is a process because I, everything I hear, as you can see, I have it all listed as, I have it all listed as statuses right now. So a status for me is re redefining, are we, is this something that I'm working on right now? Is this something that I have to take action on right now? So that is the status. So let me show you this change that I made. Right here is my, or, uh, right here's my statuses going forward for all of my work. It is either to do, in progress, waiting on somebody internal on my team, myself included, or we're waiting on something external, a customer or a vendor. And then a done status for me, everything is about content creation and coaching. So it's it's either scheduled and I don't have to worry about it until it goes complete. So then when the due date is now comes and goes, everything gets marked completed automatically. Now I also created statuses for my ideas. And again, check out the, my last video. I've narrowed it down to, is this an idea not started? So it's basically my idea inbox. I'm researching it. If it's something that I'm taking action on, I'm doing something with it. If it's a rejected idea, it automatically goes into a done status, removes it off of my to-do list. And then some things I just archive, so I may want to come back to it later. So that is it. So that is a status for me right now. So I've simplified that. So I'm going to go inside of my ClickUp right now. This is my YouTube board. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see a little bit better of what I'm talking about. Zoom out a little bit if I can. I'm zoomed all the way in there. So as you can see right here, this is the every, things that are waiting internal, things that are in progress, things that are in the to-do list on my YouTube channel. So what I want to do is everything is, like I said, is this something that I have to do? So what I've also done is if you see down here, the things that are in progress, my stages of content production, that is a custom field inside of ClickUp. These are the stages of producing content. Uh, everything starts as a video. Most times it's going to start as a YouTube or LinkedIn video. Then it's going to go to my blog. Then it's going to go out to all of my social media channels. I'm working on a newsletter. So if you want to jump on the newsletter list, drop that in the comments. So basically it's going to be amalgamation of the content, some tips, tricks that I learn along the way. Then it finally ends up in a remix status where I, I am repopulating content that we've already created and it goes into a remix status. So it never dies. It stays in some type of status. So right now, since this is in the YouTube phase, it's obviously on my YouTube board. Now, where is this video at? So now we're talking about the stage. 
So is it in the planning stage, the recording stage, editing stage, uploading stage, scheduled stage, or is it in the published stage? So those are stages. And again, another custom field. So I've got statuses, a stage uh, or the what workflow. So that's my workflow for creating content. And then I have a process. These are the steps for creating content on YouTube. So that's where this is going to va- change based upon what channel that I'm in or list that I'm in. So this is my video process. So this is the actual process for getting things done. So I've got status, I've got stage, and I've got process. So the only thing that is really going to st- change is the stage of content production and the process. So these two channels were changed. So everything that is still alive as a task will live there. So that's how I'm simplifying things down to a status, a stage, or what is the process or of doing a particular function inside my business. So content creation has a stage, and then I have a process inside of that stage. I know that's super, super meta, but that's how I'm, I'm trying to get my head and wrap my head back around getting control of all those stinking rabbits that I have, which are statuses. So that's a sneak peek of what I'm currently working on. Again, it's just the beginning. I may iterate and I definitely recommend that you do as well. So stay tuned for a lot more here on the channel as well. So if you want to check out my full ClickUp playlist, right, check out that out right here. While you're here, if you're already so long into this video, why don't you go ahead and like and subscribe if you found this helpful. And until next time, let's get clicky with it.